Respect Silver Sable. I mean, she's the only person that can get away with wearing Dr. Doom's outfit. Silver Sable is one of those incredible fighters, super soldier type characters, even if they don't have super powered type characters that still can fight super powered people, even if she doesn't because of her fighting skills, agility, training, martial arts ability, and etc. Marksmanship with guns. Because you know in Marvel and DC Comics, you can do superhuman stuff with just hard work and dedication and training, right? The amazing potential of comic book humans, right? That's kind of how Silver Sable is. She makes normal humans look like a joke and she's an outlier compared to your average human on the planet of 7 billion people. Her father worked in conjunction with the government of Simkaria, created the Wild Pack, a group of professional soldiers whose job was to hunt down Nazi war criminals. That was how her father worked and she was giving birth. Silver Sable watched her mother die in her arms, the victim of terrorist attacks. Sable trained her entire life, become a master of wide variety of weapons, trained in armed forms with hand-to-hand -hand combat, mercenary skills. Silver Sable has physical incredible attributes, but before I get to that, she is very techy when it comes to her standard gear. Like she has a sword, a taser sword for example, grapple gun, invisible cloak, yeah for invisibility, smoke bomb. There's even stories that actually break it down for us to list her gear. Like how it pretty much says it here, wields a custom made pistol, several throwing apparatuses, weighted half moon shaped projectiles of her own design and wears a Kevlar line costume to protect her from gunfire. She has employed a ring mounted glass cutter, a gyro jet, a pistol, a tranquilizer, dart gun, taser rod, a jet pack, night vision, goggles, and a combat diving suit. A variety of high tech weapons produced by Simkaria scientists including a portable electromagnetic pulse generator and a variety of sophisticated firearms, silver sable. Other gear like smoke grenades, tear gas grenades, magnesium flares, bright. She has rods that have taser type of modes, her own rocket launcher, big explosive type stuff that can level buildings if she needs, guns that can just fire straight up energy projection, and jetpacks, and even nose plugs. If you want to get a summary of Silver Sable, she's in right here, it says it, extraordinary hand-to-hand -hand combatant, martial artist, and expert marksmanship, and swordswoman. She speaks different languages as well. She's very agile and possesses exceptional strength, speed, and reflexes, which you're going to see in this video. There was even a time she was the international bounty hunter. You know, all that good stuff for Silver Sable. You know she's like super soldier-like, even without serum, because she like beat a super soldier in a fun game, or one could say little exercise type of activity, showing her athleticism and strength in, in general. All kind of epic stuff like that, Silver Sable, but how strong is she? For one, she trains daily against several groups of ninjas, showing that she can fight waves of skilled fighters. Skills with several different weapons. You see the staff. See how she uses them in combat here. Also not neglecting her normal hate melee combat. She's so good at fighting, she can casually beat up waves of people. She can do it and have casual conversations using swords and etc. She's skilled enough and fast enough in fighting speed, physicals, and etc. to fight an actual super soldier like Black Widow, who is a legit super soldier type being. When it comes to her physical attributes, you can tell by the way she jumps in the air, agility, withstanding long falls, jumps onto stuff that's about to take off, jumping from one boat to another. Notice how she's on this ledge, but she's got the agility to get herself up. She be doing leapfrogging type stuff, showing her physical. When somebody's trying to knife her, she says, nah, I counter. I ain't weak as you think. Of course, her physical strength mixed with her skills is a daily combination, like choking out this being like this fast, or just simply breaking free of being tied in the chair. Part of this is thanks to battle IQ and just IQ in general. She can just tear beings free of machines. You can tell she ain't normal by the way she throws things into walls. A good example is how she tossed this guard here and went flying. Even gotten entangled with super soldiers like Deadpool and even threw him out of the window during the middle of a fight like this. Throws a propane tank in the middle of combat. And most skilled fighters can punch harder than what they can even lift. And she is very much trained, so of course she can do something similar to this. It's obvious on how she kicks this goon off the bike and she gets, gets the bike herself. Same with characters like Mockingbird, skilled fighters. Well, she was invisible here. Super soldier tears, she fights and even KOs a mind-controlled Captain America. Lady Gorgon, she ain't want none of that smoke. Even if you're well-trained, it doesn't matter. She's better. Even compliments them saying they're well-trained. She can just shatter your skull with a hit. Her physicals is impressive, like how she can shatter this tree with a kick. Also showing her training and exercising. Hits Luke Cage in the low blow. It seems to cause him discomfort. But yeah, I ain't gonna say she's as strong as Luke Cage. During training, she can go a little bit overboard. Spider-Man type characters that I have a video about that's pretty freaking strong. She can do this to him, somebody that's a Spider-Man level being to some degree, big booty through the window. Just because you're a couple dozen Hydra agents doesn't mean y'all can't get curb stomped. With a swing kick, you can KO beings like Boomerang. She's strong enough to literally kick the head off a training dummy. 
She's not afraid to chop you in the back of the neck and knock you out. Like, this is kind of like showing some pressure point type of knowledge. Random goons, I'm telling y'all, y'all not on her level. Get murked. Even if you're professional goons, with her agility, marksmanship, and everything put together, y'all get beat down. Even goes as far as bashing through a wooden door. Notice how she used a blade like a sword and can spar with this mini and beat them all. Mixing in sword combat with some chops here and there. She can throw her blades hard enough to cut through chains. Trips beings that are physically strong to her to get the drop on them, like Thunderball. Came up to Luke Cage and kicked him. She damages Doombot's heads with her kicking power. Spider-Man was more than likely holding back, but hey, she surprised him and broke out of his grip. She kicks a concrete wall and kind of cracks it. She can even throw her stuff so hard where they crack the walls. Or hard enough to throw through robots. Physical, she can pry open the elevator door with her bare hands. Comes up this car, goes through the windshield, and curb stomps them in the car while they're driving. Can knock out grown men with a single punch. When it comes to her reflexes or fighting speed, avoiding bullets is a common thing in Marvel. Leaping out of the way of bullets on several different occasions. She can throw her projectiles before y'all can even shoot her the gun. Can parry sword attacks even if she doesn't have a blade herself. Using a combination of her fighting battle IQ can find out where the gun is based on the sound of certain things. Dodging flamethrowers. You see the gun that close to her head and assassin she was able to counter with her fighting speed. Speed rivaling her own. Even when the gunman had the better angle on her, she was able to turn fast enough to shoot him first. She's able to react just from feeling the rush of air. Or even if you're a surprise attacker and she's not paying attention. She's dodging blasts from Iron Man. When Hawkeye was mind control, she re reacted to his arrows. Dodges attacks from Whiplash. Even Gatling gunfire. She just straight up avoided. Superhumans like Hydra Man, she can dodge their attacks. Surprise blast she can slide under. A literal knife gun she dodges attacks from, bruh. Just dodging around attacks and disabling them with projectiles or different ways. Imposter Dr. Doom, she avoided attacks from him. Don't ask, that's funny, she's dressed up as Dr. Doom. Even if you got mech suit, she avoids attacks from you too. Paintball gun, she just dodges that easily. Just dances through a laser grid like it ain't nothing because of agility. Imagine falling and still avoiding gunfire. You guys know how helicopters and helicopter blades work, right? And you know how the helicopter blades be bailing, right? Like the blades are super fast, right? Tell me why Silver Sable can swing right under the blades. Probably because of fighting speed and agility and acrobats. One of the fastest metahuman type characters like Spider-Man even called her fast, so I'm not exaggerating her speed. More cases of her dodging gunfire with her speed. When about to be sniped, she pulls Luke Cage in front of her in time. Dodges attacks like this. Plasma blast she can dodge. In this occasion with Spider-Man ducks underneath gunfire. Even point blank blast she can dodge. And her marksmanship is pretty good too. Spider-Man fighting somebody else. Popped him here. Power cells that are mid-flight she can shoot. She's got some dead shot type stuff like the ricochet bullet to flip a switch. Ain't that cool? Even if she has a ricochet baton, she threw it against Hawkeye and ricocheted it back at her silver sable. Accurate enough to split your sunglasses with a bullet. A whole bunch of Majagoon, she just go in there like a one woman army and shoot them all the way up on her own. Using these skills to disarm characters like Hammerhead with her marksmanship or use her accurate to blind a monster by throwing projectiles at his eyes. For Edbill disabling soldiers with thrown apparatuses or disables a gunman from outside a window. Punisher's scope got messed up the stuff he'd be sniping with. Stupid boats, I know where to shoot them to bust them up. Hydra members even get disarmed. Disarming beings from distances that far away. These bladed things she throws so accurately that she stacks them on top of each other with each throw. You bulls I now? And she's pretty intelligent in things you probably wouldn't expect her to be. I mean, she has crazy tech for a reason, like cloaking tech, and that's how she escaped Rhino. She did this while she was badly injured at that. She's the one that designs these throwing weapons, by the way. Even against beings we all could agree are superior to her in every way, she can use her battle IQ, wits, and etc. to get the advantage. By using a fire extinguisher against her? Are you kidding me, man? This made him feel apparently nauseous? Hydro Man just cannot get a break against her. Even when he's trying to blitz her here? Nope. She can trick you into blasting each other during the heat of combat. She can even tell if you're a different Spider-Man by the way he moves. She's not afraid of interrogating people. When there's no way to escape, she can just destroy the floor beneath her, dressing up like Dr. Doom. And looking epic at the same time, but that's none of my business. She's good at pressure, like multitasking, like defusing a bomb while she's hanging on the side of a train and while also defusing it. Not only can she battle against super soldier tears like Daredevil, but also use his advantages against him. She, she can identify a poison by the smell. Battling beings like Sabretooth, she uses her strategies to make the wall collapse on Sabretooth. Improvisation is something she specializes in to escape dangerous situations. She's able to identify bombs that are in disguise. It's just something she seems to be able to do or does on a daily basis. She's battled carnage type characters or symbiotic type beings. 
thanks to a mix of her gear, laser sword, and etc. That's respectable. She be sword dueling beings that are very skilled as well. Straight up comes to a drug lab, just pulls up in there and cleans house on the place. Oh yeah, she's not afraid of actually taking your life, just in case you were curious. She goes blow for blow with Colleen Wing and hand to hand fighting ability, eventually defeating her. She's not afraid to fight a Nazi underwater, getting stabbed, pain tolerance. Even when a shark pulls up on her, she ain't afraid to stab it. Just because you got her in a good grip doesn't mean she can't wrestle her way out of it. Got in a full-blown fight with Luke Cage. Since she has a massive strength disadvantage, she had to use ways like hurting his eyes and stuff. We get the jump on him. Gets in a straight-up fight. Extended, panel for panel, kick against Punisher. Somebody that I would definitely consider them Super Soldier Rangers. Despite them not having no powers, it don't matter. Even after falling into a pit, and she still can counterattack. And I got you in the leg, Punisher. Battle IQ, blinding Doom Pot, blinding Doom Bots with its own cape. That's some battle IQ right there. And you better not have several weapons laying around because you can destroy you with their own weapons laying around. Improvisation, baby. Even beings that are invisible, she use her battle IQ to track them down. Beating people in fencing because of her combat ability. Group of Hydra soldiers, she can still take them by herself. Even being grappled by Spider-Man, she escapes it because of skills and strength and etc. She got stuff skills to be able to vanish out of sight, compile a different stuff like planes. The thing about her is that all this stuff combined with her gear, it's implied she has gear that can even damage or severely harm beings like Rhino to some degree. It's some help with Spider-Man type characters against Rhino and, and stuff. How strong do you think Silver Sable is? Do you think Silver Sable concretes herself with the super soldiers? Do you understand how crazy it is to be a human in Marvel or DC to be able to jump to these ranges with hard work and dedication and training? Respect Silver Sable, but I also got to Give a quick shout out to everybody that has took the time to donate to the channel. Respect Silver Sable. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.